attach it, and the computer does the rest. Whoa! That totally worked. Is it working? Nope. Try again. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, on the autopsy table today, we have the burnt up motor, the uh, Max NC, uh, CNC's 1 5th, 115 volt, uh, 10,000 RPM revoltings per second at 2.9 amps. And uh, we're going to go through her and uh, yeah, kind of see. Um, See why she gave up the ghost, or just see what's wrong with it, because uh, she's getting way too hot way too quickly. That doesn't seem right. Alright, so we've gone ahead and removed these two bolt, two nuts. And we're going to separate her. Must remember, spring washer. Oh, well, yeah, that, that could be the problem right there. So we have a spacer on this side, no spacer on this side. I bet we could throw a nut down in there, and that would, I mean, look at that. No wonder she's she's a flash and make that, but what I could do is undo this, take it off, undo that one, put it all the way down, pull the whole thing out, put a nut on here, so we'll have a nut here, nut here, nut here, and eventually a nut up top. I think that's what we'll do. Alright. Wait, so what's wrong with it? It has a nut here. Two it, it's what here? Oh, it has it has stakes, so you can't touch it. No, you're not supposed to touch it, are you? Yeah, it's very very sharp. Very sharp. Someone's been putting gunpowder in it. Seriously, where did you hear gunpowder? your mouth. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it'll hurt your teeth. Actually, I don't know. Is enamel harder than a file? I mean, it's pretty hard. This doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my wife's going to kill me. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Turn on the desk. Hey, while we're at it, let's see if this works. Hey, look at that. It's flipping working.
There's only one thing I can think of that might possibly res resuscitate this motor. We got a shock. So you can tell by this cleverly drawn diagram, we got a beating heart here in the center. So if we attach one to the shock and the other one up here, we should be able to shock her back into life. Whew. All right. I took a course in this a while back, eight years ago. But it, they say you just detach it, and the computer does the rest. Whoa! Is it working? Nope. Try again. <laughs> Still doesn't work. Ah! Well, all right, the only other thing I can think of is uh, chest compressions. I'm going to have to do that. Once again, I am a trained professional. Don't do this at home. All right. Come on. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Come on. I'm afraid we're gonna have to call her. Time is 8:20. Patient is DOA. <sighs> so hard doing this job some days. Don't worry, no part of this animal will go to waste. So uh, we're gonna do the post mortem here. And now that we don't care if she souped, because she souped. I know it was a waste, but it was a gag. So yeah, you can see that it's the PCB board here that's actually burning. And uh, we got brushes that are cracked. And frankly, they're a bit misaligned. So I think what we were having was some arcing and short circuiting, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, this is kind of frayed and fried. I mean, that's all crinkly and crusty. That could have been burning. Either way, we got too hot. Well, at least they took the, the pains to balance the rotor. I'm not really sure if this fan does anything. What are your thoughts? I mean, I guess it would push air to the outside and draw it in this way, since it's a centrifugal blower, but, I mean, look at the size. Of, I mean, there's nothing to that. It's only like, uh, it's like half an inch, three-eighths. I don't know, it seems like you... You're only kind of mixing the... I'm not impressed with that. Hey, thanks for watching.